Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mark Summers, and welcome to the messiest wrestling event in history. It's Super Sloppomania, and I'm extremely excited to be able to introduce this gentleman to my right, a name that needs no introduction in the world of wrestling, play-by-play -play man for the World Wrestling Federation, Gorilla Monsoon. How are you doing? Nice to see you here. Glad you could be here. I'd like to know what the toughest part about broadcasting on the WWF is. Toughest part of it for me is having to deal with that weasel Bobby the Brain Heenan. That's the toughest part for me. I can understand that. Uh, I think that. Oh, oh, look at this. He's here, ladies and gentlemen. The weasel is here. Oh, look at this. What a klutz. What a klutz. From the parking lot? What, what do you mean? I'm down here with everybody else. Because I'm the host. I make a grand entrance. Wait a minute. I'm the host. You guys are. Host. You guys I'm are. the host. We're going to find out who's the host after this as Gorilla challenges Bobby the Brain to a cage match. You what? got it. On your mark, get set, go! To Super Sloppomania, and we have two of the greatest wrestlers on the WWF uh, with us today. And uh, to my right, a team that calls themselves the Brains after Bobby the Brain. Right over here, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for him. You got a handy wipe. A handy wipe. Hey, you're a man. Wipe it on your shirt, pal. You know. Explain to me why they call you the Brain. Simple. It's the same reason they call you an MC because you do your job well. Oh well. That's I pulled off some of the greatest wrestling deals in the history of professional wrestling. That's why I'm the brain. Okay, well, that's sort of a nice compliment. I, I guess I have to go along with you. Although, I did do the Kids' Choice Awards with you where you got a trophy, and you were such a wimp, you couldn't even pick the thing no, up. No, no, you had those security guards put me out back. I remember that. Thing. Well, okay. Uh, your partner today is what Dave is MacArthur. This? And Dave, uh, when you get older, what do you want to do for a living? I want to be an actor. I want to be an actor. Well, you got to talk to Bobby. Um, <laughs> we have $20 right over here for you, and a team over here that I really like. Uh, they're dressed in red. Say hello to the Gorilla Monsoon team. <laughs> What do you I guys have the, uh, you have the mutual admiration society there? What, well, you, you lie and he swears to it? <laughs> what is no, no, I just want the people to know that you're a very educated man. You were president of your class. You went to Ithaca. You graduated. Uh, you, you were a major in, uh, majored in English and uh, physical therapy. So you're a bright guy, right? Well, it would seem that way. It, it would appear that way. Yes, but with all that stuff on your face, it's sort of yeah, hard I'm to take sure it, it serious, isn't it? Right now, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, and your partner is Patrice. And uh, tell me what you like to do, Patrice. I like to shop and go like wild at parties and stuff. Go so wild at parties. Throw chickens at gorillas, right? Throw chickens at gorillas. All right, well, let's talk. This is what we're going for today. This is the World Heavyweight Wrestling Champion belt, and the winner will indeed get this right here, folks. Let's talk about the rules here on Super Sloppomania. I'm going to ask you a question, and if you don't know the answer or think the other team hasn't got a clue, you can dare them to answer it for double the dollars. But be careful, because they can always double dare you back for four times the amount, and then you either have to answer that question or take the physical challenge. Good luck to the gorillas. We have $20 over here for Bobby the Brains team and this $10 question. What wrestling manager appears in Cindy Lauper's Girls Just Want to Have Fun video? It's worth 10 or you can dare them. Captain Lou Albano. You are right. Lou Albano is it. Add another 10. $30 over here for Bobby the Brains team. I'd like I told to know... them that, though. Pardon me, sir? I told them that. Though. You told them that. I'm sure that's why they call you the brain. Uh, what do the initials G-L-O-W stand for? Gorgeous ladies of wrestling. Well, you know your stuff. Right over there. $40. <laughs> I noticed that time that you did it on your own and you didn't need uh, Bobby's assistance. I now, a lot of wrestlers have odd names. Uh, I need an odd name for a U.S. president who was nicknamed Old Hickory. What was his real name, Old Hickory? It's worth 10 or you can dare them. Come on, you knew it all before. Uh, do you have any idea you want to dare him? Ooh, time ran out. It's Andrew Jackson. And because time ran out, no money changes place, but control goes over here to Gorilla Monsoon's team. Here's your first question worth $10. Brahma drosophobia is the fear that most wrestlers can't afford to have. What is it? Is it the fear of body odors, the fear of exercise, or the fear of funny outfits? It's worth 10 or you can dare them. Number one. The first one. First one. Fear of body odors is right. Put $10 on this side of the board for yeah. Gorilla Monsoon and his partner. And we're going to take a short break here and find out that Gorilla Monsoon has $10, Bobby the Brain has $40. We're going for the World Heavyweight Wrestling Championship.
Live here on Super Slopamania. Come back and join us with more right after this. Welcome back to Super Slopamania 1. I'm here with Bobby the Weasel and uh, Gorilla Monsoon. And Gorilla, your team has control with this next $10 question. What is the gland attached to the infundibulum of the brain? That's right, where the ramus of the mandible articulates with the mandibular fossa of the temporal bone. I know, but I'd rather challenge Heckle and Jekyll over there. Oh, okay. It's worth 20 now. What's the gland attached to the infundibulum of the brain? Infundibulum. Or do you want to double dare and back? Double dare. That's worth 40 or a physical challenge. What's it we'll going to be? Take the challenge. Take the challenge. It's the pituitary gland, and we have a $40 physical challenge right down over here. Come on over here, gang. Come on here into the ring. The squared circle, the famous squared circle, if you could come in here. And uh, since we are here with Gorilla Monsoon, we have a gorilla suit over here, and I'm sure that you won't be able to fit all the way into it. Why don't you step over here, because I want to make sure that everybody sees how great Gorilla looks. Just put the uh, arms on, if you would, please, Gorilla. And it's not... Female Gorilla. It's, how can you tell? Oh, well, tell? I can tell in there, yes. It's a little interesting. No, yeah, that's the leg, Bobby, uh, or uh, Gorilla, rather. Bobby's over there. And, oh, wait a minute, excuse me. Who are you, sir? Uh, gorgeous Gack Man. Yeah, Gorgeous Gack Man here. We needed a wrestler. You! Gorgeous Gack Man. Who's this punk? Wait a What are you doing here? We've got the wrestlers yeah, here. Yeah, wrestlers. You need a wrestler. It ain't Gorgeous Gack Man. Minute, Yo! Uh, Harvey. Oh, man. Oh, God, get over here. We're trying to get this thing going. We've got Gorilla over here. Good grief. You're always in the way sometimes. i got to tell you. Over here, what do we have? We have a, a palm tree, and it's actually a palm tree with bananas. And when I say go, I want you to start shaking that tree and knock those bananas out. And then what I want you to do is take, like, four of them, four bananas, and mash them into a ball and put them right over here. Okay, and make like a banana cream pie, but that's only bananas. Here's the cream. Take some cream and dump it in there, and because we lost the mask, we were going to put a gorilla mask over there on gorilla. What I want you to do is take that banana cream pie and put it where? Exactly right there in Gorilla Monsoon's face, all right? I beg your pardon. I'm sorry. Right over there in the face. Bobby the Brain seems to like that. So shake the tree, four bananas, make a banana ball, put it in there, put the cream on. If you can do it in 20 seconds or less, we'll give you $40. Otherwise, it goes to the other team, and we don't want to see that happen to Bobby the Brain. On your mark, get set, go! Shut that tree! Suit off. We're going to move over here. That gives Gorilla Monsoon's team a $10 lead, and they will continue with control with this next question. Good job there, Patrice. Oh, that was great. All right. Patrice and Gorilla Monsoon added $40, and they have this $10 question. What bizarre rock singer has four children named Diva, Amit, Dweezil, and Moon Unit? Would bring you to 60, or you could dare them. Dare. Dare. Now worth 20. Diva, Amit, Dweezil, and Moon Unit. What bizarre rock singer has those children? <laughs> Frank Zappa. Frank Zappa is right. At twenty dollars, seesaw battle here today. And what are we going for? We're going for this cheap belt for a buck and a half. That's what we're going for. Okay, here's your next question, worth ten dollars. The Wrestling Hall of Fame is in where? Do you know, Bobby? Probably don't even know. And they call you the Brain. Stillwater, Oklahoma. That's where the Wrestling Hall of Fame is. Which of the following sports halls of fame does not exist? Is it the Rodeo Hall of Fame? Is it the Volleyball Hall of Fame? Or the Darts Hall of Fame? Which one does not really exist? Or you could dare him. Dare. Now we're 20. Which one does not exist? The Rodeo Cowboy Hall of Fame, the Volleyball, or the Darts Hall of Fame? Or you could double dare them back, and then they could possibly go for the challenge. Double dare. Now worth 40. Do you know the answer? Oh, Bonjour. golly. That sound <laughs> means it is the end of round one. The end of the Darts Hall of Fame. Welcome to clearly one of the best wrestling matches of all time, Super <laughs> Slopamania. Well, we're here, and it's round two, and let me come right in here to the famous square circle where we have Gorilla Monsoon, uh, who has a... Good eye, oh, excuse good me. Good eye, mate, good eye, mate. Oh, Toad Warrior here, just in from Australia. Good eye, mate, in from Australia. Real wrestler, not a fake wrestler, real wrestler from Australia. Good eye, mate, good eye, Harvey. Mate. Is this Harvey again? Wait a minute, look at that. Uh, Harvey, ooh. ooh, gosh, that's awful. What do you want to do? Why do you want to be a wrestler? I heard this was a wrestle show. Yeah, no, no, just could you just go announce? That's what you do best. Good day, mate. Good day. No, no, it's really not that good. We're here, round two. All the dollar values will be doubled. When you hear this sound, 
That means the game is over. Gorilla Monsoon right over here with his partner. No, no, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Gorilla's over here. Boy, it's terrible how they have it. What's your name, sir? I need the glasses. What's your name? Bobby the Brain. Bobby the Weasel is what you are. Bobby the Weasel. Gorilla Monsoon over here. You're a little behind, but you can take the lead on this next... A lousy tailor, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, you have room to talk. Here's what we're going to do. You have to take off the robe, take off the shorts, take off the hat and the glasses, and run over here because what do we have? Well, we thought it would be more dignified to have mud wrestling, and we have some sort of mud-like substance right up there. The first team to take off all their clothes and dump mud on themselves get $40 and control of round two. Let's see what happens. On your mark. Get set, go, get that stuff off. And the first thing you gotta get your shorts off too. The first thing you get your shorts. Come on, Bobby, you're holding the show up. Get over here, weasel. Good God. Man calls himself a wrestler. All right, well, uh, Bobby the Brains team now has $100, uh, dollars 50 over here for Gorilla Monsoons, but keep in uh, mind 20 40 and 80 on a double dare. Uh, tell me, what was Hulk Hogan's character name in the movie Rocky III? You know it? You can do it. Thunderlips. Thunderlips is right. At $20. Nice job there, Bobby. Okay, this next one you have to sing, otherwise it doesn't count. What seven words does Mighty Mouse sing when he goes off to save somebody? Well, or you can dare them. Here I come to save the day. That means the Mighty Mouse is on the way. Oh, look at that. The man can sing as well. Look at that. Another $20. You know, it's a frightening thought that a man Bobby's age actually knows the words to that song, isn't it? Okay. Uh, I know it's a uh, brain... Uh, you know, control situation here, but this is a gorilla question. The movies, uh, or the movie, Gorillas in the Mist, was based on the life of what wildlife researcher? It's worth 20. There. Now worth 40. Gorillas in the Mist was based on the life of what wildlife researcher? <coughs> Double there. Now worth 80, or the physical challenge? Physical challenge. Physical challenge. Diane Fossey is the lady's name, and we have an $80 physical challenge. Step over here, Bobby the Brain, and Dave, come through into the ring one more time. Now, this is a very important physical challenge because if you miss it, they'll be within $10. Uh, this is sort of a brainy kind of stunt, and I'm glad you're down here. I'll tell you what, Dave, why don't you get into this hot dog bun? And, uh, Bobby, if you can fit yourself into this huge bun right over here. Um... Andre the Giant's lunch. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Well, uh, you guys look like hot dogs, and uh, the reason you look like hot dogs is uh, because we have to come right over here and uh, butter yourselves up, so to speak. We have some condiments. We have some uh, mustard over here. We have some ketchup right over here. And then, of course, we have some relish. Now, when I say go, Dave, you start off. Actually, Bobby, I want you to start off. You run over here, and you take some uh, mustard and throw it all over yourself. And then you take some ketchup and you throw it on yourself. And then you take some uh, relish and throw it on yourself. <laughs> what would you say? I don't want to get this shirt dirty. <laughs> I see. Well, you're going to have to get a little dirty. What we're going to do, though, is do a tag team match. Now, there's some famous tag team people, the Killer Bees. Who are some of the other famous tag team? Uh... Only one, the Brain Busters. The Brain Busters. You happen to know them very well, I'm sure. Well, when you go over and do that to yourself, Bobby, you come over and tag your partner. You come over and put mustard, ketchup, and relish on yourself. And when you're done, you come over here and ring the bell. If you can do all that in 20 seconds or less, we'll give you 80 to... That's it, and he has to ring the bell. That's it. Good luck. On your mark. Get set. Go, Bobby. Run over here. Get the mustard on yourself. There you go. Get the mustard on yourself. Go over and tag your partner. There you go. Get the mustard. Get the mustard. Get the mustard. Get the mustard. Go over there. Tag the bell. They did it. They did it. They did it. Hey, look at these guys. Take a look. We've got it right over here. Two of the best looking hot dogs I've ever seen. Let's move over here and play some more super sloppy double there. Get that thing off, uh, Bobby, and uh, move on over here. $80 added to their score. They now have 220 and we have a $20 question. If, uh, I know Dave can get up here quickly. But, oh, that sound means it's the end of Super Sloppomania. And with $220, Bobby the Brain Team wins today's Super Sloppomania match. $110 a piece. More important, a trip to the Super Sloppy Double Dare Obstacle Course. 50 over here, but nobody goes away with 50. Let's make that a full $100 for you, Patrice. I'm afraid I'm going to have to award this belt, and I'm also going to have to uh, say goodbye to I'd Patrice. Like to give him a belt. I'm going to give him a belt as well. And Patrice, Harvey's got some other things for you. What are they, Harvey? Well, Mark, we'll give you the Ray-Ban Smart Star Collection from Bausch and Loam. They're what's happening in kids' fashion. Serious sunglasses for kids who want to look their coolest. Available in various styles and colors. Plus, we also have Shockwave styling products.
gives you total control of your hair. Soft and natural or spiked and glossy, the only limit is your imagination. Shockwaves from Wella. Glossy also have for a video game for the entire family. The new Mickey Mouse Capace game features both Mickey and Minnie Mouse, and it's played on your very own Nintendo system. We're getting ready to slop through today's obstacle course. Stay with us. Welcome back to Super Sloppomania. I'm here with Dave and Bobby the Brain, and we're ready to do the obstacle course in 60 seconds or less. Now, Bobby, you're going to have to start off on the works here. <laughs> this is careful. You're going to have to dive right on here and go underneath this little contraption over here. Follow me. Uh, and hopefully this thing won't hit you. No, I'm not nuts. You can do it. Grab that flag. You'll pass it over to Dave. And what will they win, Harvey? It's the radioactive soundboard by Nash. The all-new soundboard the one and only skateboard that comes equipped with a built-in AM FM radio. Now, you can listen to your favorite tunes while you shred. Dave, you get hunt and peck. Now, if you've never uh, typed before, uh, this is a great place to learn because the keys are quite huge. Hit the right one, send that key up, grab the flag, pass it to Bobby, and what's the prize now, Harvey? It's a $150 KB gift certificate. Where do you go to find great toys? KB Toy Stores. And where do you go to find KB Toy Stores? Your nearest shopping mall, KB America's Toy Stores. Number three is for Bobby the Brain, and it's called Toothpaste Bobby. I know you're kind of weak, but uh, you might be able to pull this thing off if you're, uh, you know, able. And then inside there is a flag. Grab that flag, pass it to your partner. You'll pick up time, and you'll pick this up. It's the Rico YF20, a lightweight 35 millimeter camera, but heavy on features. They include autofocus and film advance and rewinding for point and shoot simplicity. Number four is right over this direction, and follow me. Oh, man. H Harvey, what are you doing? I'm just showing Gorilla the ropes, man. I got him where I want him now. Yeah. We better get out of here. Careful, Gorilla. Wait. Take a hike. Get out of here. I'm getting out of here. Come on, guys. I don't want to get hurt. Girl. Oh, Harvey, careful. Oh, you should have seen what happened there. Number four uh, goes to you, I believe, Dave. You go up to Kid Farm, crawl all the way down here, uh, up in this neck of the woods, and the flag is up around there. Grab that flag. Bobby will be waiting patiently over here, passing the flag. And, Harvey, what's the prize this time? It's Franklin's Language Master. Dictionary, a complete thesaurus, and completely revolutionary. The world's first electronic dictionary defines 80,000 words by Miriam Webster. Number five is called Grease Monkey. I think it ought to be called Greased Weasel because what we have here is the weasel getting right on here and going all the way underneath. Now, you're going to end up over here, Bobby, with this uh, flag in your hand, hopefully, and then you'll move over to six. But before that happens, what's the prize? Yeah, it's from Casio, the TV 500, a mini color television that fits right in the palm of your hand. It's battery operated, so you can take it anywhere, and it's only from Casio. Any questions, Dave? No. Any uh, for you? What am I doing here? What am I? <laughs> You're going to run the obstacle course, hopefully do it in 60 seconds or less, because at Mirror Maze, Dave, you have to go all the way through this area, and the flag, I think, is over in this neck of the woods. Now, you're going to have trouble probably bumping into yourself, because that happens in halls of mirrors. But what you want to do is get over to this side of the Mirror Maze as quickly as you can with that flag in your hand. You'll pass it over to Bobby the Brain and to Harvey. What is the super prize we're going to give now? Hey, Mark, it's Gibson's Epiphone S310 electric guitar. It's made for musicians who demand quality in every detail, designed by and from Gibson, USA. We started off with a cage match, and we're putting the cage back into the obstacle course. It's a bird cage. Open this up. Stand on that little perch or sit on it. Pull the bell down. Some bird seed and a flag will drop down. Grab it as quick as you can. Pass it to your partner, and we have another great prize. It's a new piano. Young Tank's beautiful white patented finished contemporary condo console piano. Handcrafted from the finest materials built to last. Number eight today is the tank, and what you have to do is get up these little steps and jump all the way over here. And if indeed you have this flag in your hand in 60 seconds or less, what's the Super Mania prize today? It's a great Well, we know Dave phys is physically fit, and we have a great audience here. Let's see if this wimp could really do what he says he can do. He can, on, he's a good kid. He's a good kid. We're talking about you. On your mark. Get set. Go!
Dread Time.